All right, guys. Uh, since this uh, voltage regulator failed me, uh, because I intend to use the output of this voltage regulator, it has a voltage regulator button just on the side here, which you should be able to use to reduce the voltage and also increase the voltage. Um, then the output from here, I want it to be an input for this one. Um, then I can regulate the voltage and see if the stabilizer is going to help to stabilize the voltage to 220 because it says here that it will regulate any or stabilize any voltage in between uh, 130 volt and uh, 270 volt and it will bring it up to 220 volt plus or minus 10 percent of it but this didn't work it's only giving me the uh, the result of the input as the output so regardless of what I put this voltage regulator on 1% 2% it just doesn't regulate it so what I'm gonna do is in the UK we do have 235 240 volt that's what is coming through and I'm gonna use that put it as an input for this one and see if it's gonna regulate it to 220 and uh, I'm just gonna give it a, a small test and see what is gonna happen uh, just before I send it to the deployment ground or, or to the property that I'm intending to use it and um, let's get started I'm gonna open this up there are three bolting or uh, three screws here three screws on the other side here as well and uh, this is the input interface here and the output interface here input interface output and we've got the earth here so maybe I'm gonna take this out I'm not sure at the moment but I've got some cables that I want to use uh, got this cable, got some of this junk cables I'm going to use to test it up and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, I've just opened it up, taken out the six screws and here's what we've got. Everything is pretty much written in Chinese. So, uh, but on the manual, see if I can get the manual, it's pretty small. Just one pamphlet came with. And um, it has already described, you can see the black, which I believe is the live, and the other one is the neutral. And um, that's the input, and you can see the input is towards the left, so so I believe this is it, and the output will be uh, input to the left, and the output will be to the right. This one, they use the original symbol, which is um, the F. So I'm going to get started, plug in the cables, and we're going to give it a test. All right, guys, I've managed to connect a particular plug to this one. Now, if you're buying this, the only one thing I just want you to be aware of is that is when you're trying to connect the input, uh, I believe this is the live and this is um, the neutral. So the best way you can do this is just to screenshot this and do Google Translate to translate it to understand what they're talking about here. Now, now, one thing I want to point out from here is this. Uh, the way they've done it inside here, I'm not sure if the camera can capture it. It's pretty, um, they, they, it's a very small uh, terminal in there that if you just put a cable in and you're trying to screw it down, it's not going to work. So you really need to bend down and take a look at it. Once you unscrew it from here, um, then it's going to open up a particular hole and through that hole is where you need to pull the cable and then screw it back then it's going to hold if not you may just be pushing the the, <laughs> the cable in and it's just going to be going straight to the back of the and it's not going to hold down so you need to bend down and take a look at it um, in carefully before you slot in the cable that you want to plug in either as input or output I believe the whole thing will be the same thing all right, guys, um, I've managed to connect the wires and I've got this socket also connected here. Now, how did I come to this conclusion? I have to go through the, the manual. Yeah, there are several things written in here and I just have to use Google Translate because I can't read Chinese so or Chinese language. Um, so I use Google Translate and from what I understood is that this is going to be the live, this is going to be uh, the neutral and this is going to be the earth 
and this is gonna be the neutral and then this is gonna be the live that's the way I understood it now I don't know what's gonna happen here I'm gonna give it a try I'm hoping to see the power light on this socket to come up if it doesn't then that means there's something wrong somewhere uh, but I'm not connecting it directly to any appliances apart from the socket so let's give it a try uh, this is my plug for the input we'll see if it's gonna work so let's do this now I'm just about to plug it in here and let's see what happens on the side okay it came up and uh, we've got 229 volt now from the manual now I'm using my other phone to do the translation so here's my other phone and here's what it says now uh, how to use I'm not sure if anybody can see it um, let me try to do the focus see if it's gonna be clearer here so I think the light is bringing up all right it says how to use um, after connecting it pull down the air switch on the right and push the air switch on the far left up so I'm gonna give that a try so it's talking about this one so I'm gonna push this up okay got some response here and uh, as you can see it's regulating the power so we've got 233 let me focus this properly we've got 233 231 roughly and we've got 218 220 coming out and usually to have like eight seconds delay and you can see this came up now I don't understand this text so I don't know what's happening here at the moment so I'm just gonna, gonna do Google Translate again to understand now I don't know why this is fluctuating between 218 and 220 I would have expected it to be stable yeah now let me do a quick translation of this and um, I'm gonna continue from there all right just uh, before I continue now because I need to verify that this is actually working fine as well so here's my output and as you can see the plug is coming up as well shows red there was no red light on it so that's an indication that my connection is definitely the right so before I send it to destination to the guys who are going to connect it over there I may want to put some label there so that they can understand without making a mistake so I'm going to read this one out uh, do a Google Translate to try to understand what it's saying there and I'm going to continue all right guys I've done the Google Translate so I think if you can look at my phone my other phone you can see it's a shard I think that's the name of the company and if I zoom it closer here it's talking about some sort of power power jobs delay and the last one I'm not really sure what that is I'm just gonna pick this up to see if I can see it directly still can't see wanna zoom in alright guys I zoomed in just now and it says over pressure so immediately you turn it on the power comes up um, it goes into delay mode for about eight seconds and if everything is okay then it goes to jobs now as you can see microcomputer automatic AC power power supply and all the things you know, refrigerators air conditioners home appliances as it works so um, you can hear a bit of homing sound which is something you expect of something transformer like and um, I'm gonna try to connect a refrigerator to this or maybe I should try to connect something else or what else is readily available here that I can connect uh, I think it's gonna be the refrigerator so I'm gonna try this refriger uh, the this um, freezer this deep freezer let's see how it goes all right guys so I've got the 
a plug for the freezer. I'm gonna shock it into like this. Here's what happened. The foot voltage went up to 222 and this one 230 which is in very well now there's no catastrophic sounds anywhere though I can hear the uh, that there's some kind of uh, not a glitch like a voltage dropping you know trying to stabilize something like that um, let me put this up okay actually that's the first time I'm turning on this particular uh, freezer for a long time so immediately I connected that stuff instead of going between 218 to 220 it became stable at 222 and that one still keeps on fluctuating between 229 to 233 they're about so by and large it seems like this is working perfectly fine uh my uh translation of the of their text the chinese text really paid off using the google translate and i was able to connect the cable uh correctly and once um now the compressor for the freezer just kicked in and um, everything is still working perfectly fine so i'm really happy for this i hope it's going to serve well by the time I have the uh, submersible water pump turned on, the fridge freezers, uh, three big fridge freezers turned on on the same um, equipment, and um, another pressure pump, and um, the electric oven, the microwave, and when all these equipment kicks in at one time, I hope this will be able to handle them. So. Uh, guys thank you very much um, at the moment I'm satisfied with what I've got and I'm hoping by the time I start uh, I deployed it completely in the property that is going to it somewhere in Africa I hope it's gonna withstand the uh, the load and the pressure thank you cheers bye